afternoon. This is Pastor Esther with Awakening Junior High. We are so excited of what God's going to do today. Um, just want to take a moment just to open in prayer and just welcome him um, throughout today. Father, we just thank you, Father, for who you are. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you in our homes. We welcome you in our day. We welcome you in our heart, Lord God. We can't go a second without your presence, Father God, surrounding us. So thank you, Jesus, that you're here. We allow your presence, Father, to take control of us, Lord, to take control of our day, that we would allow your atmosphere, Father, to overtake us. Lord, I just thank you for the word today that you have Pastor Justin speak, Lord. I thank you, Father God, that you'll speak through him, that he is a mouthpiece, Father, and everything that you want him to say, Father God, will come out of his mouth, that we have open ears to hear, and that our hearts are ready to receive. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, we're so excited for worship. I want you to go ahead and get on your feet in your homes. It doesn't matter. This is our opportunity to worship and give God the glory for today.
Hey guys, welcome back from worship. What a great time in his presence we had today. Um, I want to say thank you to Miss Tanisha Davis, uh, Carson, and Abby McCall for leading us into his presence. Uh, such a powerful time. I love both those songs. I'm glad they did that for us. It was amazing. Let's talk about today's subject. Last week we focused on overcoming obstacles, the illusions that obstacles can have before you. You saw a really cool video of some, some young people and myself doing some bottle flips. Um, you saw lots of failures. You saw successes. Um, you saw myself put one on the basketball goal. Nobody else did that. I think I'm awesome for that. Um, today, I want to talk about seeing the bottle or the cup in a different way. You see, you've heard the terms of being half full or half empty. I want us to really understand what we're looking at, the perception of life, comparing a bottle being half full and half empty, and what your mindset is. You see, I have this jar, and in this jar is uh, some water. It's almost halfway full or halfway empty. I think it's a little bit more full than empty. Um, but some people perceive this jar as half empty. Typically, Whenever you look at things being half empty, um, you are looking at the definition of what is empty. The definition of empty is being uh, lack of, therefore there's nothing there. But some people look at it as being half full. Half full is being complete. It is there. And so it's, it's really cool in life, we look at life that way. So a lot of times when we, we allow ourselves to see objectives um, or life is half empty, then we take our faith and twist it to fit our own understandings. So when we look at the way, the way the world is right now, when we look at, well, all the negativity and things like that, then what we do is we're taking our faith and we're just not, not letting God to take control of the situation. But when we look at it as in full... We allow ourselves to see the objectives as full and complete. We're letting God take control. We're letting God to be the completion of the situation. You know, and like I said, in our lives, we just really, um, really are, aren't focused on the good things sometimes. Uh, we allow negativity to seep in. We allow fear to seep in. We allow situations to really take over. Um, you know, sometimes whenever you're at home, you get real complacent. You get real lazy sometimes, like right now. Uh, in, in, in what's being uh, stuck in our houses, that's what happens. We start seeing the negative part of it. We start seeing the half empty part of it. But what's cool is there's a flip side of it. God has something in store for all of us. Has something in store for you. And you and you and you. Everybody that's watching this TV and myself and my wife, uh, my kids, you name it, God has something for us. I want to read something from Proverbs. So if you have your Bible, turn to Proverbs chapter 4 verse 25. I'm going to read from the message. I think this is a really cool uh, translation uh, for the message. You can read it where you want to and you, it's the same thing. You'll get it. No big deal. Um, let's go to 4 verse 25. It says, keep your eyes straight ahead. Straight. Not left or right. Straight ahead. Ignore all side, soul, side show attractions. Watch your step and the road will stretch out before you smoothly. Look neither left or right. Leave evil in its dust. I think that's a really cool verse for what we're talking about today. It's keeping your eyes straight ahead, focusing on the fullness of the jar. Looking at this, the substance that's in, the, in this jar, there's an importance there. You look at it for full. You're looking at what God's doing in, the, in, in your life. If you look at what's empty, you just take your faith and you twist it once again to what you believe. So I believe today, guys, I believe, like I said, I believe God has something special for you. 
Uh, I can't wait to see what God does for all of us, especially you uh, watching this uh, this stream. So I'm going to let someone pray over for you, and I'm going to end it, and I'm going to give you a little bit more instruction to what's going to happen next. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful, beautiful day that you have created, Lord. And I, God, I pray for these young people that are watching right now on this web. Father, I pray that you will touch them, touch them in their living rooms, Father God. Allow their minds, Father, to see things in the fullness of your glory, of your kingdom, of your principles, Father. If they're having negativity in their lives, Father, I pray, God, that that emptiness will be filled up to the top, Father God. Father, and we, we, we bless you, Father God. We thank you. We love you for all that you do for us. And everybody said, amen, amen. Hey, listen, so check this out, guys. We're going to transition over to Zoom. You can get onto our Facebook page, Awakening Youth Ministries, and we are going to have the Zoom ID and the Zoom password for you. That way you can hop online with us on Zoom. Um, and if you have any questions, we can discuss today's topic and what we talked about. You know, um, there's a lot of questions sometimes that you guys have. And unfortunately, with us being in our living room, we can't answer them over, over the screen for you guys. That's what the Zoom meeting is for. Love you guys. See you guys in a little bit. Have a great day. Bye.